On Sunday, Max Verstappen won the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and with it, his first Formula One World Championship. This was the ultimate dream and now that you know, we have achieved that, basically for me, everything what comes next is, is a bonus. What comes next has been controversy. Minutes after the race, Williams driver George Russell pressed caps lock and tweeted, this is unacceptable. Well, this is former F1 driver David Coulthard. A sequence of events that none of us have seen before. The story starts with the World Championship going into the final race with Verstappen and the seven-time champion Hamilton tied on 369.5 points. It would all come down to the final race of the season in Abu Dhabi. And after qualifying, the scene was set. The two contenders equal on points side by side on the front row of the grid. You could not write a better plot than this. But this story had only just begun. On the first lap, Hamilton took the lead. Then, as Verstappen tried to overtake, Hamilton left the track, cut a corner and stayed in front. After which, race director Michael Marcy decided Hamilton could keep the lead. Former F1 team owner Eddie Jordan was unimpressed. For me, Marcy was wrong. He should have asked Lewis to give back the place because Lewis ran off the road and he took a fair advantage as a result. But Hamilton stayed put. The F1 Twitter account told us we're into the second half of our title decider and it's looking good for Lewis Hamilton. And so it was. The race was 58 laps and Hamilton's lead was over 10 seconds. Soon we heard from Red Bull's team principal, Christian Horner. He told Sky Sports, we're going to need a miracle in these last 10 laps to turn it around. He needs some luck from the racing gods. And with five laps to go, that luck arrived for Max Verstappen. The Canadian driver, Nicholas Latifi, crashed. There was debris all over the track. The cars didn't stop, but they stopped racing. And they now followed the safety car. These laps counted. So if the safety car did five laps, Hamilton would be world champion. But with the final lap approaching, the race director ordered the safety car to come in and crucially decided that the lapped cars between Hamilton and Verstappen should stay there. Verstappen would need to pass all of them and Hamilton in one lap. At this point, the race director was told by Red Bull's Christian Horner, we need one more lap. Shortly afterwards, there was a U-turn. They reversed the decision, allowing Verstappen to be just half a second bunched up right behind Lewis Hamilton as the safety car left the track, which was with just one lap to go. That wasn't all, though. While the lap cars between Hamilton and Verstappen were cleared, other lap cars were not, to the bemusement of F1 journalist Chris Medlin. It should either have been that those cars were still in the way um, or that all of the cars had to go past. And in that case, it would have meant the race probably finished on the safety car and Lewis Hamilton would have been world champion. That didn't happen, though. Instead, we had a one lap shootout to the fury of Hamilton's Mercedes team boss, Toto Wolff. He told the race director, you need to reinstate the lap before. That's not right. To which Michael Massey replied, Toto, it's called a motor race. OK, Lewis Hamilton also said on race radio, this has been manipulated. That's rejected by the F1 authorities. And as the championship reached its finale, Verstappen passed Hamilton, fended off a counter-attack and won. The race was over, the story wasn't. Mercedes lodged two appeals to overturn the result. Both were rejected. Hamilton himself congratulated Verstappen. And we all tried to make sense of what had happened. David Coulthard offered this explanation. And the sporting regulations are hugely complex as well. And the, the sequence of events of only allowing five cars to overtake um, Lewis before the safety car came in is not something that typically has happened before. So if David Coulthard says that, does that mean the race director was wrong? Not necessarily. The FIA do have another rule which allows the race director to override that and make the decision he feels is correct. Which leads us to BBC Sports F1 correspondent Andrew Benson's conclusion that the sporting regulations do not cover this specific situation. Meanwhile, Hamilton's Mercedes team have lodged an intention to further appeal. And the new champion says of Lewis Hamilton, of course, it helps if you have already seven titles. That comforts him a bit. Certainly, there's plenty of comfort for Formula One as it navigates this controversy. This was high octane drama which demanded the world's attention in a way many sports can only dream of.